All right, so what we got here, um, actually, let me show you the texture and drywall. It's all finished and dried up. Let's see if I can get it out of the light here. Texture's all dry. So what we got here, some primer sealer. So just give it a good mix, it's been sitting for a minute. Pour it in my shirt. No. Alright, let's get some. These things are silly. I've never used one. Uh, let's scratch that. If I'm doing oil base, I'll usually use a little one. But these things are a waste. You're just gonna throw it away. It's just no good. So, this bucket's a little full. So I'll pour some. To another bucket. Not much, just a quarter or so. Now, if you're doing any painting at all, I would suggest getting these. Um, I call them paint grids, I guess because they look like a grid. This one's used. The cool thing about these is you can reuse them more than once compared to those plastic jobbers, they're just gonna pretty much fall apart by the time you're done painting. This is a new one. I'll save this one for my finish coat. Since we're priming, I'll use a, a used one. <clears throat> also primer, I'll use a used roller cover. You can clean these things, which we do because they cost money and it's just easier that way. And usually we'll use them for priming uh, for the second run. These grids are great because these, I guess you're supposed to be able to set your roller on it, but these are designed to hold the roller right there. If you're doing any painting at all, just get a five gallon bucket, a grid, and a, a roller frame. Before we get too far on that, I want to step back and show you a trick for um, filling holes that doesn't involve using these. Uh, on a textured wall. On a smooth wall you would use something like this, but on a textured wall, no need. bucket and a brush. Let's get in the corners. So typically when you do uh, some mudding or fresh drywall or texture like we did here, you want to prime it or seal it because the drywall is really porous or the mud is very porous and it just sucks up the uh, moisture in the paint really quickly and it changes the sheen of the, the paint that you're putting on. So the primer just uh, seals it in and gives the paint something to sit on top of.
Some people wonder if I own a comb. I do. Keeps my brushes really nice. <clears throat> Alrighty, here we are again. Painting the room. Let's see. I painted the ceiling without you guys because uh, it's white on white and it, I guess it'd be kind of boring to watch that paint dry. This wall is going to get an accent, the window wall. But these walls are going to be tan, kind of like they are now, probably a little lighter. You'll notice when I primed it, I only primed down so far. That's because when I textured, the texture only went so far. Um, I just really wanted to seal up the, the texture mud. So that's that. Let's uh, get this paint going and uh, I'll show you some uh, techniques that I've learned over the years that just kind of make painting a little easier. Okay, so I slowed this one down a bit. Notice I pulled some paint um, below. I call it a slide. And then I'll come through really slowly and steady. This takes a steady hand. And just get as close as I can to the corner without getting on the roof. I mean, it's easier said than done. But the paint that I pulled through first, the slide, just kind of uh, allows you to kind of pull your brush a little easier. And then I'll come back and try and fill in the uh, texture. And I'll just keep going and getting somewhat closer and closer to the ceiling with each pass. rewind that back. This pro tip is somewhat subtle. Uh, notice I'll start the roller in the middle of the wall and push up and then go up and down. And then I'll create an X by getting the paint off the edges of the roller. By doing that I'm getting rid of the, the heavier paint on the edges of the roller and then I'll go back to where I ended my last one and then bring it all through. Definitely keep lots of paint on your roller and let the uh, paint do the work. That's, uh, that's the way I was taught, so hopefully you can use this tip.
two coats on these walls. Time for the, um, what do you call it? Accent wall. Well, there you have it. Isn't it great? Tip.